Right, so if you found your way to this video, hopefully you found your way to this video because you've seen the Conspiracy Cats video where InRem does a calculation. If you haven't seen that, this will literally mean nothing to you, so, you know, turn off now. Um, but I've put the link in the description if you want to go and watch that InRem video. If not, have a nice day. Right, so for those of us who are still here, this is the North Pole, and what InRem told us was that he lived 3,026 miles from the North Pole, which is about here. So that's the uh, the distance of the the Earth's surface, the, the curvature there. And he calculated this distance here, which I thought for him was, was pretty good. So how would I calculate it? Well, the first thing I want to do is find this height here, the drop height. Now there is a video on the curve calculator on this channel. I've just used the online curve calculator because I've been a bit lazy, but uh, that comes out as a drop height of 1,406 miles. How does that help me calculate this distance though? Well, there's a couple of things I need to know. The first thing I need to know is this distance here, the chord length. Now, if I know the chord length, that's gonna form the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. And I know because of Pythagoras, the square of this length equals the square of that plus the square of that. So really all I need to do is find this out. So how do I find that out? Well, I find it out because he told us the latitude he lived at. Now, obviously, I'm not drawing this to scale. It looks a little bit off. But he told me that he lives at a latitude of 45 degrees. That's what he says in the video. Which means that this angle here must also be 45 degrees. Because they, obviously, 45 and 45 add up to the 90. So how do I use that to find this length here? Well, I know this distance here. This distance here is the radius of the Earth. And in miles, the radius of the Earth is 3,959 miles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and this, this, I suppose you could treat as a lesson on how to find the chord length. I'm going to put a line right down the middle here to create a right angle triangle. A right angle triangle in which I know this distance. It's going to be 3,959 miles. Because I've split this in two, this angle that was 45 degrees is now 22.5 degrees. And I'm going to use some trigonometry. And if you watch the Mrs. Katz video, which has either just come out or will be out very soon, she talks you through how to calculate this length here using the sine rule. All right. Um, so essentially the opposite is the sine of this angle times the hypotenuse, which is going to be that. So sine 22 and a half. Um, times 3,959. That gives me this distance here. I'm going to double that distance to get this full hypotenuse. And that brings me uh, a chord length or a hypotenuse of 3,030 miles. So I now know this distance. If I square my 3,030 miles um, and then take away the square of that, that will leave me with the square of this number. And I'm just going to Obviously, square root that number in the calculator, and that give me, when I use these numbers, 2,684. Now, his numbers, I think he was 2,800 and something. I'm not entirely sure what numbers he obviously punched into the calculator he was using, um, whether he used exactly 3,026 miles or, or what. Uh, but it, it's, it's, it's pretty close, so I'm pretty sure that we've used the same method, just with slightly different numbers. Um, if your trigonometry does need a little bit of a brush up, do check out the Mrs. Katz video. Like I said, it's either come out already today or it's about to come out. So keep a, a watch for that. Uh, it'll be on this channel. I don't let her have a channel of her own. Um, right. Goodbye.